Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we'll be simplifying fractions. So let's get started. Here we have two identical shapes with exactly the same size. The only difference is the one we're going to be cutting into four pieces and the other one will be cutting into two pieces. And for the first shape, I color in two parts of the four parts. And for the second shape, I color in one part of the two parts. Now let's write down the colored fraction for each of these shapes. The first one, two out of four is colored. And for the second shape, one out of two parts is colored. Now, can you see that the colored in parts for both of these shapes is exactly the same size? So two out of four is equivalent, is exactly the same as one out of two. So these two are equal. Now, which one of these two fractions do you think is the more simple one, the simplified one? It is one over two. Both of them are equal to a half. But let's say we don't have the shapes to help us. How can we take 2 over 4 and simplify it so it becomes 1 over 2? Let's have a look. The first thing you'll do is you'll get the greatest common factor for the numerator and the denominator. So let's write down the factors for the numerator and the denominator. So first for the 2 and then the 4. So the factors for 2 is 1 and 2. Only 1 and 2 can go into 2. And what can go into 4? What's the factors of 4? 1, 2 and 4. Now between the numerator and the denominator, what is the highest, the greatest common factor between them? It is 2. So you will take that 2 and divide the numerator and the denominator with 2. And then you'll get your simplified fraction. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 over 4 divided by 2 is 2. And that's how you will get your simplified fraction. So let's look at another example. Now without any pictures, here we have 8 over 12. So the first thing you do is you determine the greatest common factor. So you get the factors for 8 and 12. And the factors for 8, what can go into 8? 1, 2, 4 and 8 can go into 8. What can go into 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 can go into 12. Now we just search for the highest common factor. So the highest factor they both have and that is the 4. So now we can go and divide the numerator and the denominator by 4 to get our simplified fraction. So 8 divided by 4 is 2 over 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the simplified fraction for 8 over 12 is 2 over 3. So let's visualize this for ourselves. Here we have the 8 over 12 and here we have the simplified fraction 2 over 3. So can you see that they are exactly the same? The colored in parts, the green parts are equal and the white parts are also equal. They are exactly the same. They are equivalent fractions. So now let's look at the last example. Here we have 6 over 21. So your first step, get the greatest common factor. So we get the factors for 6 and 21. And the factors for 6, what can go into 6? It's 1, 2, 3 and 6. And what can go into 21? 1, 3, 7 and 21. And what is the greatest common factor between them? 3. So we know we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 3 to get our simplified fraction. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 21 divided by 3 is 7. So now let's go and visualize this for ourselves. The first one is the first fraction we had, 6 over 21. And the second one is the simplified fraction we had, 
2 over 7. And can you see that exactly the same amount is green and exactly the same amount is white? So these are also equivalent fractions. They are the same. And just like in all my other videos, there will be a worksheet with a memo linked in the description box below. You can just click on the link to go and download the free worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.